Human vision is an extremely complex thing. It consumes up to 50% of your cortex when in action. The visual information, visual input, is the most important channel for human to interact with the world. Movidius is a company focused on bringing human vision to connected devices. What our technology is going to enable is essentially the creation of a brand new class of devices. It's expanding our capability to explode its applications into many and all facets of society. A medical, scientific, industrial, and our own daily lives. Today, the cameras in mobile and wearable devices are not really equipped to perform any computer vision tasks. They are essentially a capture-type camera. Lovidius has designed a special purpose chip, Myriad 2, which can handle the computer vision application within the power and energy budget of a mobile device. Myriad 2 is going to change how we see the world because it's more than just taking a picture, it's actually processing the picture. It's actually taking that image and understanding the scene and what's in the scene. Connected devices generally don't have an infinite battery size. They don't have an infinite package size. For connected devices, you need something that's high performance and high efficiency. The reason why computational imaging has not happened yet today, in mobile devices, I mean, is essentially because of power consumption. We coined the term VPU, which essentially stands for Vision Processing Unit, because there is a need for a new special purpose processor subsystem to make computational imaging and visual awareness a reality. It's a mandate for us to make the life of our customers as simple as possible for them to enable those new use cases or those new product categories. So in the beginning, we had a look at existing processor architectures and where they were headed in terms of deep pipelines and processors running at you know, hundreds of megahertz and several, several gigahertz. With Myriad 2, we have 12 vector VLIW processors that can achieve a lot of computation in a single cycle. And that allows us to deliver you know, really, really strong processing throughput at a very low power point. This is the Myriad 2 die plot. What we can see is there's camera interfaces on the top. We have a set of hardware vision and image signal processing engines. We also have 12 shave cores and an intelligent memory fabric in the middle. It's really the core of pulling that together to enable low power processing. Let's talk about programming Myriad 2. The developer starts with some building blocks, a set of hardware vision and imaging engines, some pre-optimized vision kernels provided by Movidius, and some of their own custom functions. The developer can then describe their own processing sequence as a directed graph. Our compiler in runtime then takes this graph and optimally spreads the required operations between shaves, the hardware engines, and the memory fabric. The Myriad 2 silicon was designed from the ground up to support this particular software abstraction. When you look at the problem of low energy computing, one of the things that many people have found is that data locality really, really matters a lot, particularly in systems with multiple processors. So to meet this need, we've come up with an intelligent memory fabric that offers deterministic data locality, but also a flat address map that makes it really easy to program. Movidius has included a multi-ported two megabyte memory that can provide low power, low latency, parallel access to shared data. What I'd love to see is ability for the Movidius to, to be inside my cell phone and interact with the world around it. If it could understand what an object is in front of me. As a computer vision scientist, I'm extremely excited to see a highly programmable, highly capable vision processor become available to us. 
The Myriad 2 is an amazing device. It's high performance and low power, and in a very small package, that will change the world with connected devices. We set ourselves up to essentially enable human vision to become a reality in those connected devices, starting with mobile and wearables. And we will never stop innovating until we reach the stage where those cameras end up being as smart as our own set of eyes.